guys, it's Jess with Tech and House Inspections. We're in the basement of a home that is um, a little over 100 years old today, and I thought I would talk to you today about a product called Vermiculite. Um, Vermiculite is a <clears throat> it was a product that was mined in Libby, Montana. It was um, it was used as insulation. It's a very light product. Um, when it came out, it was a wonder product, right? Um, but the problem is it contained um, a very small portion of asbestos and not every single piece of it contains asbestos because it's mined, um, but it contains something called tremolite. Um, and because it's so light, um, the key words to remember with asbestos are friable and non-friable. Friable means something crumbles easily under hand pressure and gets airborne. That's how we breathe it in. The thing with um, vermiculite is it is very friable. So the small percentage of asbestos it contains, we can breathe in pretty easily, but not all of it contains asbestos. So it's important to get it tested. And when you take samples, um, to take samples from several different locations and actually kind of dig down because those finer particles settle over time. Um, so to get an accurate test, although there are some people that say, treat it as if it is because there is enough of it in it throughout that just handle it that way. There are also funds that sometimes can help with the cost of the remediation. Um, so it's important to look into research that might help you with that. So this home does have vermiculite in a crawl that obviously we're not going to access because right at the access point you'll see there's a whole bunch of vermiculite. So I'm not going to be getting into that crawl space. Um, but I did want to show you guys what it looks like in case you have any of this. Um, sometimes we find it most commonly in attics, but I do find it in crawl spaces. I've even found it inside of electrical panels when I take the cover off because what is in your attic does not stay in your attic. Your home expands and contracts with temperature and weather changes, and that can work its way down the wall cavities. And that's how sometimes I find it inside of electrical panels in the basement. And I know then that it's going to be in the attic. So um, it's just something to keep in mind. We'll show you what it looks like here. So this is when I went to pull this off. That's what we found in there. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of a shiny appearance. Looks a little like, almost like, like a little bit like gold, the striations in it. So, um, it's important to kind of remember that and to keep an eye out for it. If you live in an older home, number one, take a look in your attic, see if you find it there. And in this case, this is a crawl space and there's duct work running through this crawl space. So whatever's floating around in the air in there, those that duct is not hermetically sealed. So just something to kind of keep in mind, be mindful of. It was a product we used a lot, um, asbestos in general. There are lots of different forms of it um, and it worked really well, but it gave us lung cancer. So we had to stop using it. So um, something I just thought I would share with you guys since we found it today. Take care.